It's 7.30 in the morning. I'm going on a road trip today by myself. I'm really excited. Listen, I've been in LA for almost a year long. I've been here for so long and I'm getting really depressed. I'm gonna be honest. This week is Thanksgiving. My family may not do anything due to COVID, but I still decided that I needed to go home because it's just time. I just need to get out of here, man. It's just not good. I wanna be able to walk around and live my life without constant fear of seeing another YouTuber around, maybe a TikToker, or getting Hollywood fixed. Like, I just want peace. I think my espresso machine is broken because recently it's been a bitch to get this thing in here. Oh my God, I'm already getting frustrated. The other thing is I've been very uninspired in LA. Like, I have not been able to film a video in like two weeks. I couldn't do it. I'll just give you more information when we're going there. I'm gonna have nothing to talk about for six hours. I don't know why I'm using all of my tokens now. Oh my God, I'm so tired. I'm making a latte now because I know I'm gonna need coffee throughout my road trip and I don't wanna have to stop again. So I'm gonna go get a coffee from my favorite LA coffee shop before I leave. And then for the second half of the trip, I'm gonna have my chamomile coffee and it's great. Um, also, there's something very comforting about going to a coffee shop. I don't know why I'm explaining myself. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Why do I keep sticking my tongue out like that? I literally expect a virtual slap in the face every time I go, mm, please. Mm. I have my coffee for later. This will stay cold all day. And then I'm gonna go get a coffee now. <laughs> Actually, that's not really a good idea, huh? Let's really think about that, Emma. No, cause then I'm gonna be peeing too much. So do you know what? We're just gonna stick to one coffee. We're ready. ChamelinCoffee.com. In about an hour, I'll be on nice and woken up and less depressed. I think the second that I exit LA, my mental health will improve. Greatly. The second I leave, like I think it's gonna be that easy. Okay, let's get going. Ah. It's go time. We need gas though. Guys, I'm gonna cry. I forgot my coffee. I'm already like halfway to the gas station. Do I go back and get it? Oh my God. I'm so fucking stupid. This is literally the most depressing thing that's ever happened to me. Am I being dramatic? I need to go get it. I forgot my coffee in there. That would be awesome. Also, I'm gonna get gas first, so take your time and I'll text you when I get there. Thank God for that woman. But just my luck, you know? I keep doing the tongue thing. This was literally not a problem yesterday. This just became a problem today. I think it's because I'm nervous because I haven't filmed in a long time and because I feel a little bit depressed. And so I'm like, oh my God, are people gonna see my depression through the screen? But you know what, you guys always accept me through all of my, um, through all of my issues. And so I don't know why I think that I'm gonna be judged by y'all, cause it never has happened. Actually it has, but I forgive you. <laughs> okay. This is the fucking craziest angle of 2020. What is going on? Whoever's driving that car, it's probably super hot. <laughs> Can tell. <laughs> Look how many masks I have in my car. Number one, number two. Oh, this one's fun. <laughs> number three. Although the blue ones have a chemical in them that give me allergic reactions, I don't know what that's about. Oh, then we have this one. This is a uh, Skims one. This one. Cute. Then we have this one. So, why do I have so many? I'm crazy! <laughs> Thank you, Mom. Welcome, baby. Okay, I'll see you in have a week. A real, have a really good trip, okay? I will, thank Keep you. Me posted. Thank All you. Right, be safe. Okay, I'll call okay. you probably six times. All right, everybody, we're on our way. <laughs> First thing I want to talk about is a few concerns I have. I'm afraid of running out of gas and getting stranded. Uh, that's number one. Number two, I've not had my morning poop. Am I going to have a safe and comfortable place to have my morning poop? That's a huge fear for me. Number three, I, of course, fear death, <gasps> which could come in many shapes and sizes. But but now let's talk about what I'm excited about. Normally when I go home, I stay at my mom's house. But this year my mom is helping me with some things in LA and I'm going to visit my dad at his house. This is the house I grew up in and I've not stayed there in a really long time because I normally stay at my mom's house because it's easier and it's close to all my hometown friends. But this year I can't even see my hometown friends. I just farted. I think being in LA for too long is bad because it's like constantly being in a fishbowl because everybody knows each other and you're constantly seeing like other influencers and stuff like that. 
and you know there's like Hollywood fix around and all that it's like you have constant fear of being watched by someone there's gonna probably be so many interesting artifacts at my dad's house I don't even think you guys have ever seen my childhood room so I'm so excited to share that part of me with you oh my god my camera's falling oh my god my camera's falling off Oh, this is such a bad start. Everybody behind me probably thinks I'm drunk by the way that I'm driving. Okay, I'm turning the camera off because my camera's falling. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes. I have fixed my camera and I'm on my way. I am already very bored, like extremely bored already. You know, the regret's kind of setting in. I'm gonna be on the same freeway for about 80 miles. But I also think that this already, 20 minutes into this road trip, am I realizing the anxiety I'm having, thinking that I'm not gonna be able to just sit and scroll on my phone if I need to? Emma, you can go a few hours without your phone. But I'm very addicted to my phone, which I think may be another reason for my recent depression. I'm arriving at my first issue. I do think that my morning poop is arriving. My fear is that I pull over, I get to the bathroom wherever I end up finding one, God only knows, and then the poop doesn't want to come out. I'm in pain right now. Ow! Wait, I actually think that was a period cramp, because I am on my period. Shocker! That might have literally just been a period cramp and not my morning poop. See, this is why it's good that we're, that we're thinking, everybody, we're thinking. I've been driving with these sunglasses on, and when I wear them for like an Instagram photo, I wear them low on my nose like this. But when I'm driving, I have to wear them all the way up on my face like this. Like they're fucking goggles. I'm not in LA anymore, but I'm like in the surrounding areas that like people live in that I know. Like it's not like I'm like super remote. This would have been a perfect place to poop. I'm looking in the left. There's like a Chili's and a Starbucks and all that. Missed opportunity. I'm listening to Red Link's podcast, Ear Biscuits, and watching their YouTube videos since the very beginning. And their podcast is very good. And it makes me feel safe. Oh, not the done thing again. Do I pull over and poop? now or do I wait until it's a literal emergency and I'm like about to like go in my pants I think I'm gonna test my limits I think I'm gonna test my limits and wait until it's like an actual emergency I don't really have a reason why I just feel like that's the that's the kind of vibe I'm feeling today <coughs> I feel like I'm driving to Coachella right now day one's tomorrow can't wait to just listen to Tame Paula live you know what, I feel like the tongue sticking out just now was like justified. I don't feel like that was out of pocket. I keep wanting to call people, but I'm so nervous because I'm like, I'm like anxious that I'm gonna call them and they're gonna be like, Emma, like I actually am doing things today. Like, can you not fucking call me? But like, I'm lonely. Anyway, bye. I'm going away. I'll see you when I go poop. It has been 10 minutes and I, if I don't go to the bathroom, like, I don't know what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna see you in a sec. <laughs> It has been about approximately three seconds since I last filmed. All of the bathrooms are closed because of obvious reasons. I asked the guy at the gas station where the nearest bathroom was and he said to go to Lowe's. But the thought of like walking through a Lowe's at nine in the morning is like really not something I want to do. But there is an entire shopping center here and I know that it's a law that restaurants have to have bathrooms. I don't know if that's in place right now, but I'm about to find out. I am going into a Lowe's right now. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. After I moved out of my parents' house, I never thought I'd have to go into a Lowe's again, just because that's something that like I would do with my dad to get like wood. Like every time I'd literally go to Lowe's <clears throat> or Home Depot, the one in my hometown, I would just see my grandpa there. Like I feel like he just hung out there. All right, let's do this. This place is so incredibly large that I've been looking for the bathroom for a very long time, okay? And I can't find it. Where's the bathroom? Oh my God. Help, help. We did it. Thank goodness. Oh my God, he's wearing Ugg boots too. This brings me to present the sponsor of today's video, Honey. Thank you, Honey, for sponsoring this video. This holiday season, Honey is helping pay for $1 million worth of gifts as a part of the Great Honey Giveaway. That's thousands of prizes every week. Honey is a free browser extension that searches for promo codes for you all over the interweb and helps you apply them to your cart when you're shopping online. I've been using Honey forever. I literally save so much money using Honey. I don't know what I would do without it. I wait for the little thing to come up in the corner where Honey says, I have four coupon codes for you, and then I click on it, and then I get coupon codes, and then I save money. It's too easy. Honey also has something called drop list. Basically how drop list works, you add things to your honey drop list that you want to buy and then honey watches the prices go down and then lets you know when things are on sale. If you want to join the giveaway, go to joinhoney.com slash Emma and download honey onto your computer. Then throw some stuff on your holiday drop list and then you can be a chance to win some of the $1 million that honey is giving away for some of your gifts this year. Honey will just randomly select a winner. And do you know what? It could be you. I already know what I'm adding to my drop list. I'm going to add robes. 
I know that sounds weird, but I like buying people robes for Christmas. I'm gonna add a pair of pants for my dad. New dog leashes, because my mom needs new leashes for her dogs. That's what I'm adding. The other thing is even if you don't win the giveaway, it's still kind of a win because now you have stuff on your drop list and Honey will let you know if any of it goes on sale or decreases in price. So that's kind of a win-win. Also, you're supporting me when you support my sponsor. So I appreciate it. And I love Honey and I've been using them forever, so. Get Honey for free today at joinhoney.com slash Emma. And back to the road trip, everybody. I'm sweating because I didn't turn my car back on and I need to do that. I'm two hours in. I am a little bit tired. I do have to pee a little bit. I'm in an area where there is no bathroom inside. I feel like I'm in a farm town right now, which is unique. Sorry, I zoomed in on my face because I don't know. I'm enjoying the drive actually. I like this a lot more than flying because I feel in control. I feel like, you know, I get to look around at nature. I have Wi Fi. I can call people if I want. So, I mean, like, I'm enjoying myself. This is kind of inspiring me to do more road trips down the line because I feel like I always avoid it because I feel like I'm gonna be bored. The only issue is that I am having severe back pain. I'm literally so excited to get to my dad's house because he has a drum set in my room. Don't ask, I don't know why. I'm gonna spend at least an hour listening to music and figuring out how they play those songs on the drums and analyze it so that when I get home, maybe I'll immediately be able to play a song. Is it gonna work? No. I am still listening to podcasts though, so that's been great. Um, a few other things I've been thinking about. Number one, Wow, actually really nothing. I did spend a little bit of time thinking about how others perceive me when they meet me. Like, do I look short? What do I look like when I'm walking? <coughs> I've also been thinking about how different I look from the beginning of quarantine to now. I mean, like, I look completely different. I also was thinking about how we've been in quarantine for like a year. How is that, how is that even possible? It feels like it just started yesterday. The one thing I did do last night that kind of made me feel happy was I literally made like five TikToks. The fact that that made me feel happy concerning but I'm definitely not gonna post another TikTok for another few months so excited for that excited to take a much needed TikTok break that's sarcasm there's literally cows on that mountain ah. it's so beautiful <laughs> small update <laughs> I started listening to music I was like this is a good idea I just kept crying <laughs> I'm not crying anymore do you know what? I'll excuse the tongue this time too, because I'm really just trying to lay the mood here. I, it was it was a happy cry though. It was like it was like gratefulness for things in my life. I think. Anyway, um, I am three hours away. I still have to pee. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I care about people so much that I cry about it constantly. That is so weird. But it's only like three people in my life, but still. And I will literally cry about how much I love them, and they have no idea, and they never will. Why? Well, because I will never ever show that type of vulnerability. I also feel like I peed my pants a little bit. Like it just feels like that, which is fucking disgusting. And I probably shouldn't say that. You know what? I knew that this whole clip was going to be like bad. I it was a bad idea when I turned the camera on. I knew immediately just because I was crying when I turned it on. I'm also listening to music from like my past, like from like the past like three years. <clears throat> and it's so nostalgic. I did just burp. I don't know if you heard it. You probably did. I read a comment <laughs> the other day that was like, I really love Emma's videos, but I just like, think I need to unsubscribe because I literally get so disgusted when she burps. And to that I say, if you can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. I have really bad digestion. I'm constantly burping and farting. Speaking of that, I honestly think a big reason why I like to be alone so much is because I refuse, I will fart and burp in my videos, but I will not do it in front of people in real life. And so constantly when I'm with people, I'm like swallowing burps and like just trying not to fart constantly. And I wonder if they notice. Like, can they tell I'm clenching my ass? Okay, I'll see you guys in an hour. <laughs> or when I pee next. I do need to pee really bad, so maybe that will be happening soon. I might go back to crying, to be honest. I literally can't believe I just bawled my eyes out like that. So, anyway, see ya. Okay, it's been approximately 10 minutes. Um, I'm now listening to Claro. I'm releasing emotions but not in the same way it's not like the crying thing it's just like I don't know something different but whatever I create these weird so random and so far-fetched scenarios in my head I just had a scenario about what if somebody called me who I admire what if it was a guy I liked or maybe it was like a new friend that like I just started becoming friends with and like what if they FaceTime me while I was in a gas station bathroom it's kind of chaotic because it's like everything's gross you don't want to touch anything and so you like balance your phone on your leg when you go to wipe your ass and then your phone falls into the toilet and then whoever you're on FaceTime with <laughs> can see your poop. How embarrassing!
great would that be? And what would you do? Oh my god, I just peed a little bit. I like how they put signs on the road that say like that there's food coming up at the next exit or that there's like a gas station, although gas stations don't have bathrooms right now. Oh, next exit, food stop. Great. That was honestly, this is the first time I've seen that since. So I think I manifested it. Guys, don't forget the power of manifesting things for yourself. I found a random restaurant and I have to pee so bad that I can't walk. Okay, I went potty. Sorry for not really filming the experience. It was an emergency. Back on the road now. Can't wait, I guess. I mean, I have like three more hours. Uh, my first camera battery is now eating the dust, so we're putting in a new one. Yes, I did come prepared today. No, that will probably never happen again. I don't know why I was prepared today. Something weird came over me. Back on the road, everybody. I'm excited to hopefully cry some more, laugh some more. God only knows. Okay, we're an hour and a half out now. I do have to pee, I'm hungry, I'm grumpy. I'm listening to music and just analyzing who I am as a person. Not like maybe the best activity. All right, everybody, we're on the last hour. I have to pee pretty bad and I'm also really hungry. You know what's wrong with me? I'm hangry. I also look exhausted and like I'm on the verge of death right now. I don't look so good. I feel pretty proud that I haven't like talked to that many people on the phone this whole time. Like, I don't need nobody. Guess what? I'm here! And I have two fun things to show you. Number one, I have fills. Let's try it. Very nostalgic. I haven't had that in a really long time. Although I do feel like my at-home coffee recipe is kind of unbeatable, but you know. And then I also have Asian box. It's my favorite meal that I eat here. Good vibes, honestly. It feels very fall here, whereas it does not feel fall at all in LA, so this is kind of nice. Like, I actually feel like the air is crisp here. It feels a lot more normal and more cute and fun. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. okay, good. <laughs> I almost just choked on my food. I'm gonna eat this and come back, hold on. Guys, we're in the final stretch. I'm 10 minutes away, I'm fed, I have my coffee. I'm excited to be here. I enjoyed this. I'm gonna rate my this road trip experience six and a half out of 10. I would give it a seven, but I was having such bad back pain that that kind of took down a half of a point. Every time I had to go to the bathroom, I had to go so bad that it was like hurting. So that also kind of took us down. Also, I cried three times. I don't know, I'm feeling good. I'm excited to see my dad. So I also am having really bad uh, cramps, period cramps. Oh my God, I forgot to tell you guys. I apparently bled through my tampon all over my car, all onto my car seat. I'll see you when I get home. God, where's the button? I'm with Chamberlain Paintings! Yo, what's up, people? So I haven't been to my dad's house in a really long time, and it's kind of a vibe. I, I don't think I had appreciation for, for anything as a kid, so I didn't appreciate, like, the details of, like, look how cute this is. It's truly a vibe in this place, and I, I haven't been here since I was, like, for a long time, so, I really forgot how dope it is. Also, he has a drum set in my room. So let's see if I can still play drums. Anyways, I'm done. I'm gonna practice and it will... <laughs> and then in the next video, <laughs> I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna learn something new and cool for you guys. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching and I'm, here's your forehead kiss. Um, I'm gonna go spend time with my dad. Bye.